Okay, so what we are going to do now is show the full functionality of the test fixture itself hooked up to a controller that was just repaired. Um, the purpose of this video is not to show the functionality of the controller, but rather the test fixture that we went over in brief previously. Um, so you can see we have a 101S controller hooked up to this test fixture. What we're gonna do is start the process and you can follow along as different components are actuated um, and yeah. All right, so we started the process. The door has been enabled, the LPP is enabled, and the rinse, rinse function has started. This is mimicking your rinse process of your SRD recipe. As you can see, we're on rinse, counting down 15 seconds, stable 500 RPMs, everything you're looking for. As we get through this process, you'll see things will change as we will be getting into the dry function. All right, now you can see the N2 heater has been enabled, bolt heater has been enabled. Um, you're gonna have your N2 um, being pressurized and being, being distributed through the chamber and the purge started to get all of the residual water from the DI lines. And that is shown that we are in dry one. Here, stable RPMs, everything you look for. All right, when this dry one is completed, it will cycle into dry two, um, where you'll see very similar functionality from the test head, but we'll show you um, in the controller really what happens. All right, so now we're in the dry two phase. You're gonna have the anti-static being enabled. That is the one function that does get added here. And then the RPMs are reduced down to the lower scale, right around 500. It'll, we are now stable at 500. All right, and then when the com process completes, you'll see the functionality of the test head on. Boom. Dry two has been completed. The RPMs have ramped down. It has stopped. The RSP has fired, as you can see from the, act from the indicator right there. LPP is still currently on, keeping a um, high pressure inside the bowl, keeping particles from migrating into it. Um, this has shown sort of the functionality of the test head and what we expect to see upon every controller being repaired to full functionality. Thank you for watching this video source inspection of our test head fixture. We hope you approve of this process and will choose us for your next controller repair.